Well, good morning folks, and I think it might even be Happy New Year. I don't think I've made a video yet this year. I'm at it again. Fishing at Marsh Farm on Richardson's Lake. I actually got down here last night and I was fishing on Johnson's Lake, which is behind, which is a, a members only water. I was fishing there with Matt Fernandez. Um, but because it's my first season in the club, I'm not allowed to night fish on that lake. So I toddled off over here about 8 o'clock last night. But Matt, Matt did alright. I, I had a couple of tench over there last night. And Matt had a, had a few tench. He had a carp that was £26.9 on, uh, on his cruising rod, £6 line. And uh, he also had a cruising at about 11 o'clock last night. It was three pounds eight. Uh, so I went over there and took a couple of pictures for him. And uh, yeah, I was, I was fishing here last night, obviously. Oh, we got a bite. <coughs> Man, you caught much of that. <coughs> Lovely little male tench. Look at him. I've caught about eight of these. I caught a few last night and a couple this morning. I pulled the rods in last night. It was too hectic and I wanted to go to sleep. Um, but yeah, plenty around this sort of, sort of pound and three quarter, two pound mark. Uh, my uh, first successful tench fishing trip of the year. I've had a couple that went a bit sideways. Let's pop him back. See you later. Yeah, so about a couple of tench sessions already. Uh, they went a bit sideways down in the fens. Both, uh, both times I went down there, there was actually a match on where I wanted to fish. And uh, my alternative venues were uh, substandard, let's say. I did have a half decent day catching a few perch and skimmers and roach on one venue, but I didn't bother filming it. And the other, first venue I went to had been dredged. Second venue I went to, um, there's no good potential anymore, apparently. But I did pick up a little tip for a potential new summer venue down there to explore, so it wasn't totally wasted. I'm uh, fishing with two rods. I've got some new rods. I've got some uh, some of these Nash scopes. The main reason for that is I've got a little. Um, work van and it's a fiesta so it's tiny and uh, i wanted to do quite a bit of fishing on my way home from work this year on the canal and uh, scopes will fit in the in the boot so uh, i've got some 175s so that's what i'm using now i'm uh, just giving them a test out really it's a little overgunned for this sort of lark but now I just wanted to use them and I uh, also got some 225s as well no 275s that's mainly for carp these are kind of a more of an all roundy rod uh, for whatever I think they've restocked it here a lot of these tench they, they seem a bit smaller than normal and they, they look pretty clean and uncaught as well. So I think they've put a few more in. Certainly, man, it was hectic last night. I caught about eight of them in, in a couple of hours fishing, but <clears throat> I was getting cold and tired, so I just went to bed. And I've been fishing again this morning for about 40 minutes and caught two. And 
then tonight I'm going to go and fish the River Kennet for the last time this season. Um, meeting up with a mate down down there. But yeah, it hasn't been a majorly wonderful start to the the year for me fishing wise. I thought hopefully I'd turn a corner but um I went canal carping last week and lost a really big lump of a fish. Which was a shame. I've uh, got a few plans for this year, so hopefully things will be a little bit more organised. I'm just fishing with a couple of a couple of worms. The, the right-hand rods are a running bomb. I changed that this morning because last night I was using a method feeder on both and. Sorry, not method feeder, pellet feeder on both. But I was finding the tench are actually nipping the worm off. And I think they've got a hold of the worm by the end and they've moved off and the, and the weight of the feeder is snapping the worm off. So I was coming back with just like a tiny little bit of worm left on the hair a few times. So I thought I'd try a running rig um, to perhaps alleviate that issue. But the rig on my left hand rod is just a, a pellet feeder with a, I don't know, about a four inch coated braid hook length. I've not put any bait in to my left. I'm just sort of relying on the feeder on that line and then on the right one I throw in a handful of chopped worm, a couple of balls of ground bait and a couple of handfuls of maggots. <coughs> I think the club ticket that will allow me tonight fish on Johnson starts on the 15th or 16th of July, something like that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm probably going to fish, fish Busbridge a bit. Uh, you might remember I did a haunted video uh, down there last year. That was a lovely little lake. So I will endeavour to kind of perhaps shoot down there on Fridays after work a little bit this spring. And then I've also got the canal which I'm... Whoop, there go. I mean it wasn't hanging about. Looks like his brother, that one. Another little male. I think they're all females I caught last night. Here we go. Nice little tench, probably a pound and a half, pound and three quarters. It's nice to be catching them again. That withdrawal symptoms. In. It's quite cold actually. Oopsie daisy. There's the little setup I'm using. Might well be familiar with it. Pellet feeder, four inch of length. Size 10 Guru QM1. And then a little hair over the hair stop. A quick stop on there. It's just so I can put worms on easily. In the feeder, I've got some of the 
super crushed green, I think it's called. Something like that. Sonny Bates. Round bait. And then a couple of handfuls of two or three mil pellets. I'm not fishing far out. Just probably four meters <coughs> from the bank. <clears throat> Can't remember where I was, what I was talking about before that bite. <clears throat> oh, down the canal. Yeah, I've got I've got a few spots. I'm basically going to be doing a bit of pre-baiting over the winter. I've really learned a lot about boilie making, and uh, off of a Facebook group called Boilie Making UK. If anyone's interested, and there's a there's one guy in particular on there who's very astute, a guy called Andy O'Brien, a uh, very helpful chap, knows a lot about bait and ingredients and uh, yeah through learning a heck of a lot over the last few months there I've been uh, stocking up my freezer with homemade boilies and I'm going to be using those on the canal to pre-bait essentially a couple of spots after work on my way home. From, from about now, I'm going to start doing it this week. And then uh, once the clocks go forward, uh, I'll be getting down there after work for a few hours. Hopefully, to, uh, to catch a few carp. Might be one of the older boys, this one. Certainly been caught a few times before, I'd, judging by his gob. Probably, probably just shy of two pounds, that. Oh, no, about two pounds. Alright. Stick her back in. It's quite lean, this one. Well, I think that's it for now. I'm going to pack up and uh, then I'm going to quickly pop over, see Matt, see what he's caught. And uh, I will see you this evening on the Kennet. I think I'll do a little bit of perch fishing first and then, uh, as I said, fish for the barbel during the night. Fingers crossed, catch a barbel. Hasn't been very good this year for the barbel and the Kennet. I've only caught one. Yeah, caught one out of there off about six sessions. So, um, yeah, as I say, it's, it's not been brilliant. But I'll have a go. Hopefully, Dave will join me as well. He'll probably pull something out of the bag, as he often does. And, uh, Bye for now.